What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Modding your PSP in 2023. I recently got my hands on my second PSP model 1000 from an auction site and I thought I want to mod this thing and record the process and camera for you guys. So let's go ahead and get to it. There's a few things that I need to do before installing the custom firmware. The first thing I need to do is update to what was the last version of the system software on the PSP released officially by Sony, that is 6.61. This PSP that I have here is on version 5.55, which was released too many years ago. So let's do that first. I will show you the websites where I got the downloads and I'll put the links in the description. So on this website called revive.today PSP firmware, this is the official firmware that Sony put out. So I went here and I have, this model is a PSP 1000. So I downloaded this firmware. Once you download it, it's going to be this file right here. And I will extract it. And that's the file. Before we do anything, we want to make sure that our memory stick is formatted. So let's do that. We're going to go to some settings, format memory stick, select X. Yes, let's format it. Yes. Complete. All right. Now that it's formatted, let's go to USB connection. And go into USB mode. Right hand side. I have the root folder of the PSP. My left hand side is the downloads folder. We're going to go into the PSP folder, game folder. This is empty right now. So we're going to create a new folder with uppercase letters, call it update. Go into that folder. And what we'll do is drag and drop the eboot.pvp file. All right. So let's take care of that first. Get out of USB mode. And then on your PSP, you will go to the game section, memory stick section, and there you'll see the update to version 6.61. We're going to hit X. It will reboot. That is where the actual update is taking place. All right, so that's what it says now. PSP system software version 6.61. Let's hit start. All right, let's agree to everything. Press the right button to continue. Okay. Accept the terms and conditions. And then enter. So we're going to leave it for a while to do that. So that it updates to firmware 6.61 officially released by Sony. Let it do its thing. Probably going to fast forward this, this part right here. All right. Update completed. Press X to restart. That's going to restart the PSP. And we should be now on uh, official firmware 6.61. So let's verify that. Let's go all the way to the left, all the way down. System settings, all the way down, one up, and there it is. Version 6.61. So this was the last version and we're on it. We're ready now. Before we move on, let's go to where this uh, file was. Hit triangle for options and let's delete it. Yes. There it is. All right. Now let's go put it in USB mode again. All right, so we are in USB mode once again. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and do copy over the folders of the actual custom firmware and the infinity folder as well. Up here, I'm gonna get rid of these two. And then let's uncompress these to their, um, to their own folders. Again, I will place the links to these websites on in the description. 
for the infinity, once you're in the infinity website, you're going to go down here and click infinity. It's going to give you the zipped folder. You're going to go to this other website that is going to give you the custom firmware. You're going to go down. And since we are on firmware 6.61, as you can see here, we're going to click on this and then it's going to give you this folder compressed and you're going to uncompress it or extract it. You're going to extract it. Okay. So you, you've got the folders and you've got the PSP connected and we're ready to go. We're going to need to set up folders and subfolders. Go to the PSP folder, go to game. If this folder is not there, create it. Uppercase letters, game. Create a new folder here called update, uppercase. Go into the update folder. We're going to go to the infinity, infinity standard. We're going to copy and paste eboot to here. Update, go back one level, and then we're going to grab the custom firmware. So go back to downloads and the custom firmware is going to be here. Open it up. We're going to go PSP game pro update. So this time around, we're going to drag the actual folder into game here. So we close this out. Okay. So we are done. We're going to go back to our PSP after we close the folders, hit back. Now we're going to go into the game section, memory stick. We're going to select infinity two. To launch it for the first time. There it is, uh, Infinity version 2.0.3. We're going to hit X to install. It will install, installation complete. Then it will reboot. Perfect. It rebooted. Now we're going to go to memory stick again, and we're going to install this time the Pro C2. Let's select X. To install the custom, custom firmware. Pro Mod C2 by Team Pro and Yodi. Press X to launch custom firmware. Let's press X. Press X to start custom firmware. All right. There it is. If everything was done correctly up to now, we should have custom firmware and infinity now installed. Now we need to go back into the infinity. Click X. We're going to click left. And then what this does here is that it's going to make the custom firmware permanent because if you don't do this, Every time you turn off your PSP and turn it back on, the custom firm will need to install. So we're doing this so that it is permanent. And every time you turn off your PSP and every time it turns back on, it remains in the state. So we're going to select highlight pro C custom firmware with an X and then we'll hit uh, right. And then we're going to press the home button and press X to exit. So now let's verify that everything has installed correctly. Let's go to settings, system settings. Let's go to the very bo uh, bottom system information. And there it is 6.61 pro mod C2 P infinity. So we've successfully installed the custom firmware. So just to test it, let's turn it off and then let's turn it back on system settings, system information. There it is. So I believe what you can do now too is go back here 
and we can get rid of this and this one too delete now for this section what i want to do is like i said in the first part of the video this is my second psp so the first one that i have i have a memory stick in it and a few years ago i had already done this mod to that PSP. What I want to test is grab this adapter that was installed in my other PSP and we're gonna insert it on, onto this one that has the same custom firmware, everything the same. And it should work. It should be just like a drop-in, no issues. This is a 64 gigabyte. And the other one is a 32 gigabyte micro SD. Years ago, I made this mod, but I have a bunch of games on here already. So I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to open up the compartment. Remove the memory stick that it has, that it came with. This is a 512 megabyte memory stick. We're going to insert this one that has everything that I did last time. So again... This has the same custom firmware, same mod, so it should it should be able to read everything from the get-go. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a run. Take it for a spin. All right, there it is. So these are all the games that I included last time I made this this mod. Maybe I'll make a video on how to install games to it. Yep, this is what I did last time. I even have Japanese games in here. Also, if you hit triangle and if you hit square, you can group the content and it will group the content depending on what, what you have. So I have 45 PSP games, 100 PlayStation games. I have emulators here too. Let's run this game, for example, Tekken 6. Tekken 6 saves state automatically. Yes, there it is. So there it is, guys. That's how you mod your PSP in 2023. If this is your first time visiting my channel, go ahead and hit the like, comment. Go ahead and hit the like button. Give me your comments. Do you still have a PSP? This this thing is, is awesome, to be honest. Do you still have a PSP? Leave me a comment. Let me know what, what you think. And I'll probably come back and make more PSP content. So remember to subscribe. I have a few other videos on my channel for you to check out. Uh, leave me a comment. Subscribe. Leave me a like if you like this video. Share it with your friends. Share it with anybody. Any other PSP lovers? That's awesome. All right, guys. Until next time. Thank you very much.
Thanks for the